In this tutorial, we'll include decimals in our multi-digit addition. And you'll see that there's nothing really new here. We just have to keep track of decimals. Example 1, 1223.09 plus 104.1. First step, let's line it up, same as before. But with decimals, we know that we can just line up the decimals and everything else falls into place. Now, some people might look at the hundreds column and say, it's odd that we don't have things lined up there. It's a missing number. And they may want to put a zero in there. But that's not necessary. Do it if it feels more comfortable to you. Starting in our right-hand column, in this case, the hundredths column, we have a nine plus nothing, or if you put a zero in there, plus zero. So in our answer, nine plus nothing is nine. That's easy. Next column, the tenths column. We have 0 plus 1 equals 1. And we mark the decimal spot. We move the decimal down to our answer, right below the alignment. And on the other side of the decimal, we have the 1's column. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we mark down the 7 in the 1 spot. And in the 10 spot, we have 2 plus 0 is 2. Moving to the 100's column, we have 2 plus 1 is 3. And finally, in the thousands column, we have one plus nothing, so it's just one. And we're done. Let's ensure that we remember to bring the decimal down in our answer. And yep, we have it there. It's always good to double check. Let's try another. Example two, 800 plus 0 0.015. First step, line up our columns. And this one looks kind of confusing, but, as long as we line up those decimals, it'll all fall into place. Everything's lined up fine, so we're ready to go. Starting in the right-hand column, in this case, the thousandths column, we have a five plus nothing. Now, remember, some people adding nothing really bothers them, and so in all these empty spaces, you could put zeros, but it's not necessary. We're gonna go ahead without the zeros. So five plus nothing is five. In the next column, the hundredths column, we have nothing plus one. So a one down here. In the tenths column, we have zero plus nothing equals zero. And then we have the decimal spot. And we have to remember to move that decimal spot into our answer right below them. And on the other side of the decimal, we have the ones column. 0 plus nothing equals 0. And in the tens column, 0 plus nothing equals 0 again. And finally, in the hundreds column, we have 8 plus nothing equals 8. We're all done. In this example, there were a lot of additions by nothing. And this seems to throw some students off when they face that. Just be confident that if you align your decimals carefully, an addition by nothing is just a nice bonus when you get to it. It's an easy addition.